Hey fellow world dwellers, it's Angry Turtle and today I want to show you my new favorite heavy gun I'm currently using in Fallout 76. And no, it's not like a new gun in the sense that it wasn't in the game before, but there were several good changes buffing this gun compared to how it used to work. And this gun is ultra sight Gatling laser. It's a difference between a Gatling laser and ultra sight Gatling laser. Those are different guns. And I'm talking about ultra sight Gatling laser. If you need a full guide, how to get it and so on, all the modifications, full breakthrough. I already have this guide under my weapon guides playlist that you can find on the channel. But what I will tell you before I will show you how well this gun actually works now, I will tell you what's new about this gun, what was not there in the guide because it was not the case back then. Then basically what I'm using, because you probably want to see the legendary effects on my gun, I'm using this anti-armor, 25% faster fire rate, reduced weight, ultra side guarding laser. And I love it. I love it. I have a lot of fun with it. The modifications I have installed is true Gatling laser receiver, true Gatling charging barrels, true charging barrels, and about the sides and muzzle, I keep it standard because muzzle will change the color of the beam to red from green, and I want it green. And sides are not really helpful. They just obstruct your view, it doesn't really give you any benefits, then I don't like to change that. But now, what's new? First thing, this gun is doing more damage since the patch that fixed energy weapons to, collect, to correctly calculate against armor. Then now this gun is doing more damage than it used to do. And if you see my guide back then, then guide was done before the damage buff. And it was already good. It was a decent gun, but now it's way better. Second, in like two patches ago, Whatever Bethesda did, they change how the spin-up weapons work and in first person it's very unlikely now that you will get interrupted while firing, which means less downtime while firing, what's good, what's really good. And finally, why do I have 25% faster fire rate? It's the most important part. Not everyone knows that, but 25% faster fire rate does not mean that this gun will have 25% more fire rate than other gun without this legendary effect. Uh, let me clarify. What it does, it is actually giving a gun a flat fire rate bonus. In case of ultra side guarding laser, this bonus is 30 fire rate, just flat. It, it has nothing to do with a percentage. And I will show you exactly the proof, I crafted one without legendary effects, is... where is it? It's in here. As this is like the most important part. How this gun is doing when you need to shoot enemies. And as you can see, level 100 super mutants, you kill them fast. And to be absolutely honest, I don't even need to stop firing. As look at, at ammo consumption. It's like almost zero and I'm using regular fusion calls regular fusion cores, I didn't mod it for ultra sight ones, because regular ones I can recharge with legendary perk electric absorption, then I like it. All I need to do to recharge them later, I just need to reload the gun before I run down the core to zero. If I run down the core to zero, the core will be gone, but if I leave it with like 100-200 ammo by just reloading it, I will keep partially charged core in my inventory that I can then recharge at will. And if there is a new coming, maybe we'll take this gun on a spin. Oh, the Scorchby screen fight. I think Nuke is coming on the Scorchby screen. If I can have a shot. Oh, no, it is not. Then Nuke is coming on Mr. Air. Okay, we'll visit him. But first, let's kill a couple more super mutants to run down the ammo a little bit. Then I can reload and I can save my core. What well, is really good, I really like it. I was using it before with ultra sight cores, which is giving a nice damage boost, but 
Because this is enough damage and I don't like this clutter in my inventory with all those ultra side fusion cores that cannot be recharged, I decided to swap back to just regular fusion cores. Less in my inventory, I can have more use of my legendary perk. I, I think that's a pure benefit and you can see the damage wise it's great and if you are curious why the damage is fluctuating sometimes i do way more damage than other time that's my legendary perk taking one for the team if enemy is shooting me and it triggers then i have much more damage versus this particular enemy compared to the enemy that do not shoot me as well there is of course server lag therefore after enemy shoots me i should wait like a couple of seconds for server to register that i supposed to have more damage it's not like instant tennis unfortunately it could have been but server lag is actual thing and it applies to tenderizer as well usually like first two three shots do not apply tenderizer then you can see effect of a tenderizer and now if i want to preserve this fusion core i know there is still a lot of ammo but i just press the reload and it's done like that and if you have a problem like you are spinning the gun then you want to use steam pack and you can't there is a quick solution like you fire you tap the trigger and then press a steam pack it works i don't know why uh I will try to explain it slowly. Like you are firing, you stop, you cannot use steam pack because the gun, for whatever reason, as long as it's spinning, even if it's not visually spinning, as long as it's supposed to be spinning, it is blocking your use case for all the steam packs. But if you shoot, then tap the trigger, you can use steam pack. Just stop shooting, tap the trigger, press the steam pack, and it works. Now let's go and visit Mr. Arrow. And here we are. We have some rather low level players and not too many therefore we'll see how we'll go in here i know this gun is not a boss killer it's not a it's not my boss killer gun i do use it for everyday case scenarios but maybe it can do something i will pop of course liquid forge and psycho buff and that's what i'm normally using for boss fights and I'm getting numbers like 23 it will probably be higher when he will scream yeah, like now yeah it goes higher to like 37 you can see now I think it's only me shooting and I'm doing some damage then it's not like useless on the boss fights and my build is as well good for every day a lot of carry weight perks and excavator power armor not fully spec for damage I have rank 1 heavy gunner perks, but I'm at low health, therefore my adrenaline is working. And it's it's decent. I need to say it's not not the worst, even on the boss fights. But to to be honest, I will swap now for a weapon that is for the boss fights. It's anti-armor plasma. That's what I have for boss fights. And for quick comparison. You can see that's more damage and faster. But in this case, those are ultra side plasma cores and I cannot recharge them. And there is not a great accuracy. This gun does not have great accuracy. The ultra side gatling does have a great accuracy. And if you are curious what I got for my effort during this event, unfortunately nothing really good. Here is in my new tab, Ghoul Slayer's laser pistol, pickaxe, and some stable fluxes, plus one star nocturnal heavy combat armor chest pit. That's what airdropped for me. And finally, for the full showcase, where this gun excels, it's long range. Therefore, let's go somewhere where we can shoot far away. Thanks to all those true barrels, the accuracy when hip firing is really good. You can snipe those scorched. You can snipe the scorched beast. Unfortunately, at this one, she's outside of our range completely. And now she's coming closer. That will be better. And without the sight, as you can see, it's way easier to actually aim. Yeah, she's going away. She cannot be as far. Or accuracy will not help. Oh, I didn't notice I'm so low on health. Okay, no worries. I'm getting up. And we are back chasing the Scourge Beast. 
And now you can see I have really good damage, even when she's flying. Because this gun is a long range gun, and you can think she's close, but... For whatever reason, in this game, wherever enemy is up flying, it's considered being far away from you. Even if it's just above your head. That's how the math works, guys. That's nothing you can do about it. That's the math. Vertical distance is 10 times as long as horizontal distance. Everyone knows that. And that's my loot. My stable fluxes come back to me. And now, I think that's everything about the gun. I just like it. I can recharge the course whenever I feel like it. I can just reload. Whenever core is slow, I can have 1k again. And he's stuck in the... In the pose. That's cool. <laughs> and yeah, if you want to use one like that, just don't forget the most important thing. Faster fire rate. It's a must. Any other star, it's optional. It's good to have a good one, like bloodied, anti-armor, aristocrats, junkies, something as a prefix. But really what you want is faster fire rate. As thanks to that, you will get fire rate doubled for the charging barrel modification. And... Try it! I can only say this one, try it! If you have a heavy gunner build, try this gun, a lot of fun, and shoots for free, what's important too. And that being said, thank you a lot for watching, and see you all in the next one.